Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Snarlfang Riders for Gloom Spike Gits for Warhammer Age of Sigmar from Games Workshop. Uh, they're in this box right here and they will cost you £35 for five of them. They seem to be a bit bigger than you first expect. They also consist of 114 plastic components, which is a, a decent number, anything over sort of 100 components. So 35 pounds, yes, it'd be nice to have them at 30, but um, you know, this is what they've uh, priced them at. Uh, I think they do have a number of options. So let's rip and tear and uh, get into this box. So that's uh, what they're gonna look like. I think these um, wolves or whatever you're gonna call them, I just call them wolves. There's a lot of detail on them. I think they're one of the most detailed wolves that Games Workshop have ever produced. Uh, but yeah, you get um, Snarfang Riders with the, I think that one's quite cool, uh, on wolf back, I, I guess. Uh, kind of firing an arrow. Um, you've got this one with the banner, you've got this one blowing the horn, you got um, this one with the sword, and this one with the sort of um, spear. They're quite cool looking. Um, so let's uh, unbox these. I think they're three sprues, yeah. About right. Uh, now, I did pick these over the new um, Slaves of Darkness Knights. You know, I, I, I could have got those instead. Um, and I could have got the uh, Vanguard box set or Combat Patrol. Well, I think it's Vanguard set, isn't it? Um, but uh, but no, I've, I've kind of held back on get, getting that set because I wanted to cover um, these sort of two new sets for Gloom Spite. Um, that's the reason uh, why uh, there's no um, Vanguard Slaves to Darkness set. But uh, anyway, this is the instruction guide and straight away um, you've got three options for the first one. You can have um, uh, the Champion, a Snarfang Rider or another Snarfang Rider just for the first one. Um, which is fantastic. Uh, it's a shame that the one with the spear, aiming the spear, is also the one with the kind of little bow. But um, there we are. I'm clearly going to have the champion. Um, I don't, can't foresee me getting another five of these anytime soon. Um, these are just mainly because it's a new release and um, I've never had anything to do with Snarfang Riders before for Gloom Spike. Uh, the next three, um, so you build one and you can pick these three. Uh, you've got this one, um, which is also kind of firing a bow. Uh, this one with the lance and this one as a banner bearer. I'm going to pick that one, I think. So two blues so far. This one, I think I'm going to have to go for the one with the, 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 you know, the horn, the musician. So that's another blue, although I really like the look of that, that green one. Um, with the spear stabbing it. The bow one looks, yeah, all right, I guess. Uh, and then the last two, the blue and the green. Oh, that's a tough choice. I, I do like that green one though, with the bow aiming. And then the final one, um, yeah, that's pretty cool, aiming the bow. So I'll have a look, I'll, I'll make a decision while I'm building them, um, but you pretty much got uh, at least two options um, per Snarfang Rider with the first two, with, um, well, with the first three having three different options. So if you bought another set of these, they're gonna look different. Obviously the wolf poses are gonna be the same, but the actual riders themselves um, have the potential of, of looking different if you have 10 of them, which is great. I, I enjoy sets um, that give us that variety. You've got these sort of cavalry bases. They are the small cavalry bases. They're not, you know, uh, Varangard size or anything. And then here are the sprues. So we'll go through all of these sprues then. Um, so the year on these is 2023. So yes, um, one of the most newest sets and sprues that I own now. Um, we've got uh, the banner, which is actually bigger than I thought it would be. That's, that's quite a long banner. Um, you've got the wolves, you've got a lot of detail on the saddles and things. And um, the fur looks great. The um, horn for the musician, the heads are quite large for the actual wolves. The spear looks great. There's some chains on there. There's some tails, the crooked spears. I like these kind of jagged crooked spears. The shields look good. Um, the bows, uh, just what you'd expect from Gits. They're these kind of, 
you know, curved bows um, with the notches either side or whatever. Uh, this one's kind of um, notching a uh, arrow there. Uh, and then you've got this. This is quite a large part for one of the wolves. Um, you've got some of the legs. You've got a really nice looking head for that wolf. You've got some of the heads for the riders. They look pretty cool. More saddles, more wolf heads, more shields, more spears, more armor. And then the final sprue uh, right here, you've got more spears. Uh, or lances, whatever you want to call them. And more heads, more bodies for the wolves, more saddles again. And that's about it. So yeah, that's quite a, uh, you know, packed full um, kit. I, I think that's uh, quite a decent kit, even at the £35 price point. Um, you know, you've got plenty of options there. You know, the first three, uh, you can have three different options and then the last two, you can have two. So as I say, picking up two of these um, would be a good decision. Um, it would be nice to see, uh, you know, the spider riders get get some, the same love as these. I wasn't really expecting these to get this much love, um, but, uh, but yeah, no, I'm absolutely pleased with this. Join me in the future video where I will be um, reviewing all of these uh, Snarlfang riders. What do you guys think of them? Uh, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Loon King Protects.